Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Swiss Mystery. All is not so peaceful in the peaceful little village of Greenwich, for at this moment, a terrible thing has happened, Clutch. The mainspring in our master clock has sprung. That's awful, Mr. K. The whole world looks to Greenwich for the correct time. That's right, Clutch. Great masses of clock watchers are frantic. Golly, we learned in school that Greenwich time was always correct. Not anymore, son. People are eating breakfast in the middle of the night and dinner in the middle of the morning. We could tell by the sun, of course, but we haven't seen the sun for days. It's been so foggy. This sounds serious. It is. We must get a new mainspring. That's why I called you, Clutch. I read in your adventure book that you have been to the remote Swiss village of Tickertagen. Yes, I have. And I met Hans Klockenspiel, the great clock specialist. Hans Klockenspiel is the only man who makes mainsprings. But he hasn't answered any of our messages. That's strange. There must be something wrong. We'd better investigate. I hoped you'd say that, Clutch. A few hours' journey by air brings Clutch and Company to the mountain train station of Whirlycar. First, we go to Ticker Talkin and find out the correct time. Then locate Hans Klockenspiel and bring back the mainspring for the one that's sprung in Greenwich. We got lots to do. How do you like this little train, Splinter? It's keen. But how come they never blow the whistle? I heard your question, young fellow. You see, we are passing through avalanche country. A loud noise could make the snow and ice slide, causing an avalanche. I guess that answers your question, huh, Spinner? Sure does. Hey, we're slowing down. We are slowing down for the bridge. If an avalanche ever knocked out this little bridge, there would be no way to ticket auction. Holly, I hope that never happens. We'll soon be reaching the end of the line. From here on, you go on skis. Oh, boy! I'll call and let him know you're coming. <coughs> Yodeling! How come he's yodeling, Clutch? That's the way they talk here in the mountains. There are no telephones because of the high mountain peaks. Hmm, that's funny. I don't hear echo from Echo Rock. I'll try again. Quiet, please. <coughs> yodeling! Awfully quiet down there. Hmm. Something's wrong. Something's really wrong when Echo Rock doesn't echo. Well, we'll be on our way. Thanks, anyhow. Good luck, and be careful. You're going back into avalanche country. So I see. It says, no yodeling beyond this point. That's Clutch Cargo and his pals. They're probably here to wreck our plans. You go on to the clock tower and get the last main spring. I'll take care of them. Oh, no. Yodeling at this altitude. Flash! Somebody started an avalanche! Ah! How will Clutch and Company escape being buried alive? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Swiss Mystery. You remember last time, Clutch and company had been sent to the little Swiss village of Tickertocken to get a new mainspring for the master clock and to find out about the mainspring maker, Hans Klockenspiel. As they left the train and started out on skis... Clutch! Clutch! Somebody started an avalanche! Paddlefoot, 
You found us. You found a friend, too. That avalanche sure buried us. Somebody deliberately yodeled and started that slide. Hey, look. He wants us to come with him. I think that's a good idea. Not too much noise now. I wonder where he's taking us. I don't know. But these rescue dogs are trained to take whomever they find back to their masters. There's a little house just ahead. Why, it's Hans Klockenspiel's house. This big dog must be his. Hello. Well, my old friend Clutch Cargo. Why didn't you tell me you were coming? We tried, but Echo Rock wouldn't echo. You know, I thought that was funny. Every day I used to talk to the conductor of the little train. But for the last few months, I haven't heard a yodel from him. By the way, Clutch, have you got the correct time? That's what we came to see you about. Clutch tells Hans why he, Spinner and Paddle, would have come. Then he asks Hans why he didn't make his yearly trip with his usual load of mainsprings. Clutch, my friend, my whole crop of mainsprings has disappeared. How, Hans? I test my mainsprings in the big tower clock here in the village of Tickertagen. My great, great, great grandfather built that clock in perfect balance to last a thousand years. But something has gone wrong. Every one of my precious mainsprings that I've been testing in the tower has disappeared. This gets more serious by the minute. Our village was once a happy place to live in, filled with ticking and talking and cuckooing. Gosh! Let's take a look at the village clock tower. Right, Clutch. We'll take my clockomobile. This is the only thing I have left that runs correctly. I built it out of clock parts. So far, its main spring hasn't sprung. The clock in the tower still runs, but it's so undependable. Here's the town, and there's the clock tower. The people of the village are so sad. They never come out in the streets anymore. Oh, that's one of the wooden figures who strikes the time. Golly, I thought it was a person at first. It sure looked real. The woodcarver who made those figures was a genius. Do you think that figure in the clock could be real? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Swiss Mystery. You remember last time, Clutch and company were rescued by Hans Klockenspiel's huge St. Bernard dog, Otto. They had just driven into the village of Kickertocken with Hans in his clockomobile. As they passed the giant clock tower, The woodcarver who made those figures was a genius. Golly, I thought it was a person at first. It sure looked real. Let's go up to the tower and take a look at the clock. Here's the tower door. Hans, you better stay down here and make sure no one comes in. You stay with Hans, Paddlefoot. Golly, Clutch, it won't open. Won't open? Why, that is ridiculous. That door is never locked. Maybe so, Hans, but it just won't open. You'll have to break the lock, Clutch. Let's go, Spinner. Be careful up there. This must be the clock room. Look at all the carved figures. A whole room full. Sure is beautiful workmanship. Some of them look kind of spooky. What makes them go, Clutch? 
It works like a giant cuckoo clock. There's the clock works, or motor, over there. Those big wheels control all the figures. When the wheels go around to a certain place, it trips a switch. And the figure on that track goes out, rings the gong, and comes back in on that return track. Boy, it sure is complicated. Spinner, go out on the clock tower and tell Mr. Hands we're OK. I want to check this clock's works. And be careful. OK, Clutch. Doesn't seem to be anything wrong with that machinery. Right behind him stalks a sinister doll-like figure. Sure is a long way down. We made it OK, Mr. Hans. Did you find anything unusual, Spinner? Clutch is checking the works now. and company with Hans Glockenspiel were looking over the old clock tower in the village of Tickertocken. Suddenly, Clutch was slugged from behind. At almost the same time, Spinner was pushed from the clock tower. Oh, I'm getting tired. Catapult, do something. Hold on, Spinner. Okay, boy, I'm coming. Hurry, Clutch! I'm slipping! Hang on, Spinner. I'll get a rope. Oh, hurry, Clutch. Hold on, Spinner. Spinner, I'm lowering a rope. Put your legs through the double loops before you let go. Oh, thank goodness. There you are, Spinner. That was a close call. Paddle thought you saved our lives. That's Otto barking. There must be something wrong. Let's get down to Hans fast. Hans, what happened? Looks like someone hit him. Somebody hit me and took my clackamobile. Otto's on the trail. I'll bet he can lead us to the crook. You feeling all right, Hans? Yeah, let's go. Look, the tracks go up toward the mountains. Looks like he's headed for the ski slopes. We can ride the ski lift all the way, Clutch. Good idea. And we can get skis at the top if we need them. Paddlefoot, you stay on the trail with Otto. Roy, this is fun. Sure get a good view from up here. Keep a lookout for the clockomobile. There's Paddlefoot and Otto down there. They look like they're on the trail. There's our man. And your clockomobile hands. Why, I know him. That's Fritz. He was my assistant once. So that's our time thief. I think he sees us. Oh, that's Cargo and his pals. They won't catch me. He's speeding up. He must have recognized us. 
The dogs are going down in the snow. Any idea where he's going, Hans? There's a ski shack a couple of miles farther. He's probably going there. He's almost to the top of that first mountain, Clutch. I wish we could make this thing go faster. Clutch, they've stopped. <laughs> That'll stop them. They'll hang up there for days. Fritz must have thrown the switch. How will we get down? We could freeze up here. Fritz is driving off. Could be days before they find us. No one comes up here during avalanche season. Trapped in midair on a ski lift and no way to get down. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Swiss Mystery. You remember last time, after being saved by Paddlefoot's smart move, Clutch and Spinner found Hans Klockenspiel knocked out and his clockomobile stolen. As they started to follow the crook on the ski lift, it suddenly stopped, leaving them in midair. How will we get down? We could freeze up here. Could be days before they find us. No one comes up here during avalanche season. Gee, I wish we had a long rope. Paddlefoot and Otto have reached the top. Maybe they can help. Paddlefoot, the lever. Push the lever. Yeah, Otto, push the lever. Push it, boy. We're moving. They did it. By golly, those dogs deserve a medal. Good boy, Otto. Oh, thanks, Paddlefoot. We better get on Fritz's trail. Where are the skis, Hans? They're in the hut, Clutch. I'll hook Otto to the sleigh. I'm a little too old for skiing. Whoa. Whoa. How much farther is it to the ski hut, Hans? Oh, about half a kilometer. Meanwhile, in the ski hut, a little way ahead, Here's the last of the good springs. We've got them all now. <laughs> It'll take hands two years to make a new supply. Meanwhile, if anybody wants the correct time, they'll pay plenty. I hear them coming. Let's get out of here. There it is. Hurry, heavy. Cut that rope. That'll stop them. Get your skis and let's go. Oh, we're cut off. Clutch, they're getting away. If they get to the top of the pass, we'll never catch them. It'll take us a half hour to get around that gorge. Hey, Clutch, let's yodel. That's a great idea, Spinner. It didn't work. That did it! It got him! Head down. They smashed into Echo Rock. Here are your main springs, Hans. Good as new. I can't thank you enough, Clutch Boy. You are probably the world's greatest time saver. It couldn't have been done without your help, Hans. Now everybody can tell the time of day. Hey, look! Echo Rock has been soundproofed. Huh? That's how they cut off our communications. Now Echo Rock will echo again. Oh, 
And so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Swiss Mystery.